Hello guys, today we are going to model a chest tower, also known as the Rook with Blender 2.8. It's a simple modeling exercise. This time I remove the default cube and add a circular model, for example a cylinder or you could also kind of start from scratch by using a circle and this is what I'm going to select. The fill type of the circle is nothing by default, so set it here to triangle fan. Ok, now I switch to edit mode by pressing tab and then I press E to extrude the basic shape. To about that height, we can adjust it later on. The next step is to add edge loops to the locations of the mesh at which we will have indentations. For example here one that marks the foot, press Ctrl and the R key and then move the edge loop downwards to a location where you will need it. You will see what I mean in a moment. I double click this ring to select it and then press S to scale it down. This is the first indentation. And then we do this again and again for all the parts that we want to scale down, for that we want to add indentations. I create this here from my memory, perhaps because I'm a chess player and I know how this rook looks like, but I highly recommend to use reference images. Ok, now I press the shift key down and double click this edge loop, so that both edge loops are selected and then I press S to scale them down and to scale it up a bit more in Z direction I press S followed by Z. Alright, now we need a new edge loop at about this location and I press S to scale it up. And you see the mesh looks more and more like the chess rook. Here at the top we have to add another circle and I switch to face selection first to select these faces by pressing the B key and then I press the I key to add an inset. Nice, now we have to move this inner part a bit to the inside, so I press the E key to extrude it to the inside. And now we have to select the faces for the, I don't know if the word is correct, battlements. I always leave out two for the selection. And now comes the fun part, I press E to extrude. Nice, this is the basic shape of the rook. And now I want to add some rounded parts using bevels. I select these two edge loops and press Ctrl and B to add small bevels to these edges and I move the mouse wheel slightly to increase the number of segments to 3. The shape is pretty good, I'm happy with it, but the last step is to make it look really crisp. First I right click to open the context menu and select Shade Smooth. Now I deselect all and then I press F3 to open the search and search for select sharp edges. And this edge loop I also want to be sharp so I press Shift and select it as well with a double click. And then I press N to open the sidebar, go to Item and increase the mean bevel weight to 1. Ok, then I press the tab key to switch to object mode, then select the modifiers panel and add a bevel modifier. First I set the limit method to weight, in this case the bevel weight for the edges is used to determine the width for the bevel, then I decrease the offset to about 0.02 and set the number of segments to 3. And here we have it, nice and crisp, but I decreased the offset again to 0 0.01. Ok, another method to limit the bevels in the bevel modifier is to use the angle. Now you can play around with this and you see that only these edges are beveled when the faces around them form an angle that is smaller than the threshold that you defined. So that's it again, I hope you liked the result and the video, if you do then don't forget to subscribe to JNM if you haven't already and please tell me if you'd like to see more of these modeling exercises. You can follow me on my Instagram, on Twitter and Facebook and if you'd like to support me then be my patron. Thanks a lot and I see you in the next one.